Your Excellencies, dear colleagues, thank you for the opportunity to address the European Conference of Presidents of Parliament. I stand here today with a profound sense of gratitude for the efforts the Council of Europe puts in establishing and upholding the values and standards that currently define Europe. Values and standards that promote democracy, human rights, prosperity and dialogue for all the nations part of this esteemed forum. We appreciate the strong partnership between the Republic of Moldova and the Council of Europe, as well as the constant support offered to our country. The Council of Europe is a steady partner in promoting, promoting democratic culture and good governance, ensuring the rule of law and democratic elections, as well as defending and advocating human rights. The assistance and expertise provided to us has been indispensable. The recommendations of the Council of Europe have been essential for Moldovan's fragile democracy. In challenging times when oligarchs attempt to take over of the juridical system and marginalized civil society, on irresponsible politicians spread fake news and divided communities for political gains, the Council of Europe was there to speak up for our values and for those who protected them. Today, I declare with confidence that we are working tirelessly to put those times behind us. Citizens of the Republic of Moldova expressed at the last elections an absolute desire for change, and we will deliver on that. The justice reform and the fight against grand corruption are the number one priority of the new government and the new political majority in the Republic of Moldova. In this regard, we are grateful for the constant openness and availability of the high-level working group on justice reform in the Republic of Moldova, created under the auspices of the Secretary General of the Council of Europe and the assistance offered to support the justice sector in the Republic of Moldova. We ratified the Istanbul Convention and we are determined to fight social inequalities and to provide for equal opportunities for women and girls, young people and marginalized social groups. We are striving for an inclusive society and for well-working institutions for every citizen, regardless of their age, gender, spoken language, or welfare status. Currently, we are engaging actively with local communities, mayors and local councils to provide more resources for local administration in order to boost local democracy and autonomy so that local authorities, authorities can better respond to the grassroots needs of the people across the country. The fundamental challenge of the Republic of Moldova is to create a democratic, thriving and functional state, open to the world and focused on the generally European integration agenda. And on behalf of the Moldovan citizens, I can strongly reaffirm our unwavering commitment to further advance the process of integration into the European Union. Dear colleagues, all those ambitions of our can be achieved in solitude. And I would like to use the opportunity yet again to thank all the countries, partners, and friends who helped Republic of Moldova in these difficult times. Particularly, I want to express my deep gratitude for each and every country that contributed to the COVAX platform, as well as for bilateral assistance with vaccines and medical supplies that help Moldovan doctors to save lives. Assistance and solidarity in fighting COVID and supporting economic recovery should make all of us reflect on the role of multilateralism. In these grilling times, many were reminded of the benefit of, of working together rather than apart. Despite our differences, the biggest challenge that we have to overcome are similar and global in nature. This assembly, I believe, can be a forum of finding solutions 
and establishing partnerships for the issues that overwhelm all of us, such as climate change, health risks, global inequality, including in the digital sphere. I truly believe that we should be more attentive to the space of modern technologies. As of now, it is a source of many challenges for our societies related to cybersecurity and the spread of fake news. But I'm also convinced that digitalization can also be the answer for strengthening the link between the institutions and people and for providing better services for our citizens. I know that climate change is something that can't hide from. And I'm keen on exploring best practices to preserve cleaner water, fresh air, and how to combat climate-related disasters in a sustainable way without harming industries, jobs, and working families. You excellencies, all of us here mandated by the people, and all of us bear the responsibility, and they expectation and trust. So it's imperative that we should seek to unite our efforts to provide solutions and the, to the issues we face together. I'd like to use this platform to reaffirm Moldovan's commitment to engage alongside all of you in overcoming those issues. The Council of Europe proved many, on many occasions in history that answers and solutions can we find together, can we stand the challenges of time and can serve as a foundation of solid progress for many years to come. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President.